It has come to my attention that my projects on this channel have gotten a little bit ridiculous and kind of hard to repeat. I used to make a lot of things that you guys could build a home, so we're going to do that again. Actually, we're not going to be making this kind of helicopter. This is literally an airplane on a stick. I had these as a kid. I was not impressed by these. There's something actually really cool I saw on YouTube the other day ago. A literal rubber band powered helicopter. It actually has like a functioning tail rotor and everything else. And I was like, how is that possible? That's so cool. Cause you've seen like, you know, the rubber band powered airplanes. They're not that cool. They're just like a propeller and some rubber and it flies around. But a helicopter with a real working tail rotor that actually can fly around like controlled circles and stuff. That's amazing. So we're gonna build that today like this. But first, We've got a lot of experimenting to do because I've always wanted to kind of figure out how helicopters actually work. But I need to look at some toys and do a little bit of research. This is a toy helicopter. It is a coaxial design. It is very cheap. This thing is kind of amazing. They fly really well. They have a source of mechanical stability on top from this thing called a fly bar. The fly bar is coupled to the top rotors. What happens is the fly bar uses a thing called gyroscopic precession. So when you spin a gyroscope and you tilt it, it will react in a certain way, depending on which, which way you push or pull it. Now it's coupled to the blades on the top of the helicopter. So depending on which part of the rotation it gets to, it'll either increase the blade pitch or decrease the blade pitch, depending on where it needs to be. So I'm basically going to try to take this thing and see if I can make it simplified and then replicate it on top of my helicopter. I don't understand why they specifically attach the fly bars to a separate set of pivoting linkages. It seems more complicated. I think the reason why they do it is because other people have just been doing it for so long and well, most of these toys that come from China just tend to be rehashes of other projects and things like that. Now I've attached the fly bars, which are these weighted things here, which will ultimately control the pitch of the blades when they get to certain parts of the rotation amongst this axis. I think this will work. It definitely simplifies the parts list of the helicopter. Oh, would you look at that? I guess you can do that. I don't know why they don't sell like that. Oh. Okay, uh, I will demonstrate why you do need fly bars. So we're gonna try to take it off again, minus the fly bars. This will not go well. And punch it. Oh. You need something. You see, you can't have them just physically locked. Actually, well, just to make sure, because some people were like, oh no, it's teetering around back and forth. Well, I'll just go ahead and glue them and lock them down just to show you what it will do. Oh, oh no, ah. All right. We will now take off the rigid head helicopter, which will not work at all. It has no no stability mechanism now. You see all these like people from like building their own helicopters that don't really know anything about helicopters make rigid head rotor systems. I'm kind of glad they're underpowered because if they actually could take off, they would just kill the people around them. So now it's time to design our helicopter. I found plans for the original Penny helicopter, which is like designed like the 1960s or 70s. It looks like a very well refined machine because it flies for, it looks like up to like a minute if you're, if you're really good at building and very lightweight. I know we're really not gonna be able to really achieve that because I'm gonna really design this to like use 3D printing. So I'm gonna design this part in Fusion and then we're gonna print it out. get our sport rubber on this this very fancy model airplane rubber bands so we're gonna put on here wind this thing up and then try to make this fly Ooh, uh. eventually once this setup works the blades that's when we'll add the little pulley and the tail rotor and actually have like a real kind of functioning pre-flight helicopter Hey, it almost kind of flies. Yeah. Fly, fly. <laughs> it's stable because it, it, it definitely descended down without like flying over like an airplane would with the normal like fixed lock propeller. So I think let's cut these blades down a little bit. My fly bar stabilization system is about right. It works. I'm gonna have to take some of the pitch out of these blades. I think they're too aggressive. Take two trimmed out blades. 
that's worse. Oh, I want it the wrong way. Yeah, it's the, it's, it's really unstable because the fly bar is working in the opposite direction. And no wonder I didn't feel any thrust. <laughs> Try this. Whoa, that's amazing. Look at it. Oh, it's really <laughs> stable. Holy crap. It flies like, whoa. I mean, this is pretty terrible compared to the stuff I've seen on the internet. These helicopters can fly for like a minute. Can you imagine that like off a rubber van? I'm actually really optimistic if I get 30 seconds out of a flight out of this, which is pretty cool for me. Oh. It broke. I'm thinking too. The tow is gonna have to compensate a lot. I really think I really should shrink the blades down some more and reduce the overall torque on the stick. All right, I'm gonna sand the air folds back to these blades because right now they're really chunky on the back. They don't. They're not as good anymore. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> Highest flight time yet, and the stick broke. <laughs> this is the first helicopter. Now it doesn't fly very long, probably because I need a lot of refinement. I don't really know what I'm doing. Yay! But it is roughly about the same specs as the original Penny helicopter, as far as like rotor dimensions and tail rotor size. But I think we could probably do better. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it put itself in the trash where it belongs. Uh, I think we need to build a new helicopter now. making a weird noise. Wait a second, what's that? What are you doing? I've been basically testing out whether you can cook a chicken with the power of slaps. Someone hypothesized that with 23,000 slaps you can cook a chicken. If you see some additional content, go check that out because that's really annoying and it smells really bad. less than one gram. Dang, you broke it! <laughs> All right, so now I have a cool looking helicopter. Actually, I have a bunch of helicopters because this is a little bit heavy because there's a lot of cosmetic stuff on it because I want something that looks cool, but I also have some ones that fly really far. Let's see how they actually perform in the field.
30 wines. Oh no, the string came out. Loss of tail rotor effectiveness. And the landing <laughs> Yeah, this string doesn't seem to work super great. I'm gonna go back to the um, other weird string I have. The rear van broke. Engine out. Okay, on to the next helicopters. This is the one with the really pitched blades and three rear vans. It's got a lot of torque, but the unfortunately the tail rotor is not as effective as this one because the rotor blade has a lot of mass. But this one's just designed just to kind of go up kind of quick. <laughs> not very effective. <laughs> Unfortunately, the tail rotor is just too terrible in this one, and we lost one of the little stabilizer sticks. Run out of chopper's. This is the real one that'll probably do well. All right, I need to wind it up with the winder. Here comes the fun part, trying to get it off the loop and under this. All right, let's just see what happens with this. It's it's stuck on the it's stuck on the roof. I didn't quite expect that result, but uh, it's up there. <laughs> I did get the uh, exclusive air car A380. I'm gonna try to use it to knock that off. Yeah, there it is! There it is, boys! <laughs> Let's bring this thing in for landing. There are still a lot of wines left in here. This could have gone much further. I just gotta hook it on that. That's the only thing I can hook it on. Ow, it's stuck in my hair. <laughs> it's actually stuck in my hair really hard. I knew I should have stopped winding it. <laughs> my brain has come out. <laughs> ow, ow, it's actually really painful. I have to cut my hair out. It's like, oh, it's causing pain. So Please. much more, dude, there's tons. This is 100 wines with normal rubber from like those rubber powered airplanes you can buy at the store. Eh, not very impressive. Wow. I think that was about like uh, 60 wines, but I got three rubber bands on here. So this is our helicopter. It's a lot harder than it looks to get this right. There are so many variables involved, such as like the weight of the fly bar heads, the size of the blades, the pitch and all that, getting the ratio of the, the pulleys and tail rotor right, getting the tail rotor pitch right. It's so very, very finicky. It looks like nothing, but there's a lot of tweaking that went on here to kind of even get this thing to fly for even like 30 seconds. So we printed these out. Unfortunately, none of them worked as well as the original. I got it right the first time, I guess. I mean, it still has room for improvement as everything does. You can see here the fly bar not working. This is like not moving. You can see the fly bars like staying on the, the rotation of the rotor blades. It's not actually acting independently and not stabilizing the helicopter. This is the fly bar working correctly. You can see it reacting to the changes of the attitude of the helicopter, such as when I move it side to side, the fly bar reacts quickly. It's actually making the pitch changes for every revolution, thus stabilizing the helicopter. I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet, but I am going to be sharing the files for this so you guys can make this thing at home. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Here you go. Something for you and your kids to do at home because this this roughly is really easy to kind of make, all things considered. Now getting to this stage, it's really just some piano wire, some 3D printed plastic, and a little bit of balsa wood. It's really nothing special about it. If I learned anything, it's that these helicopters could be lighter. Kind of like my wallet. It's a little bit too fat and old and outdated and heavy. That's why Ridge Wallet has sponsored this video. These wallets are kind of amazing. I've gotten an old outdated wallet, which is really big and bulky, obviously, but these are very cool. They're very modern, minimalistic design. They hold to 12 cards. You can fit Mostly everything you need nowadays, especially with the cash in society, these things actually work great. There are even a ton of designs you can get. 
Boom, nailed it. They're made of all sorts of materials such as carbon fiber, aluminum, even this cool burnt titanium. They even have a gold one. They have a ton of them in the site so that you can check out and find the perfect one that matches you. So not only do they have a bunch of different plates you can choose from, they even have two different clips you can choose for to hold your money. Compared to classic wall designs, these things are wicked slim unlike my girls on Tinder. It's really cool too. These things come with a lifetime warranty. They even give you an extra set of screws. I have a few screws loose, but I also noticed they put a little bit of blue Loctite. Now, that's actually a pretty good quality control right there because I took it apart to look at it. So I'm actually very impressed with the quality of these things and the thoughtfulness they put into this product. It seems pretty cool and I'm actually going to give the rest of these away as gifts and keep one for myself. If you're looking for a last minute gift this holiday season, check out Ridge Wallets. It literally holds a lot of value. Visit ridge.com slash treeple and see their holiday guide and use code treeple for 10% off with free worldwide shipping and returns. Link in the description below. Super cool. I feel like I'm five years old again playing with my, you know, rare vampire toys, except it's a little more complex this time. You know, I've never really messed with a helicopter. I'm an airplane guy, to be honest. I'm not really a helicopter guy. They're, they're kind of magic with how they just fly around and work. Like I said, the plans for this thing will be free. You'll find them in the link down in the description. I think I'm just gonna upload them to Thingiverse. I really kind of want to give you something back to my, you know, my Patreons, because I do have a Patreon. I don't really promote it all that much. I want to give something back, because I haven't, you know, made something that I could share with you guys in a while. So that's why I think a Rare Power Helicopter would be really cool if you want to check it out. Like I said, everything's down below. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll see you next year, hopefully. Do you need to get any rubber bands or anything? I got one right there for you. Is that thing on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> so oh, like... that's why you're trying to get me to go over there. I would have actually just grabbed that thing and probably lost my finger. <laughs>